Oh, hi, hi, Georgina. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Good, thank you. Yeah, yeah, very well, thanks. So, firstly, you're in Batman. Um, <laughs> what was the most fun and the most challenging part of being in Batman for you? Well, uh, well, the most fun was definitely, you know, being reunited with with Matt Reeves, uh, having worked together on the Apes movies, and then also getting to play all my scenes with Rob, who I just think is extraordinary as Batman and 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 Bruce. Um, and the most scary were, were was was contemplating how on earth <laughs> I was going to step into the boots of, of the likes of Michael Caine and and Michael Goff and Jeremy Irons and all the other great actors who have played Alfred. Um, but but I have to say that that was made easier by the fact that I was working with Matt and Rob. They made that they made that a lot easier. I know you playing really fantastic roles like fantasy roles, Gollum from Lord of the Rings and. How do you prepare for these roles? And do you follow any specific methods? Um, I think you evolve, you know, I think, well, I certainly feel like I've evolved lots of different techniques and ways of finding characters and the inspirations for them come from lots of different places. I mean, you know, sometimes it can be, it can be from, from, from paintings or from, you know, documentary footage or, or from music or, for, you know, you, you, or, or, or just straight up research or, you know, searches online that, and then, and then what you start to do is to build a backstory and, and uh, you start to build a, you know, a notion of how the character, where the character carries uh, certain sets of emotions and uh, like pain or you know uh, where they carry aggression or tension or you know and you start to build up this sort of picture and and then obviously the script is is leading you in a particular direction and then you work with it with a director and every single actor that you work with brings out something different in you so there's there's so many different components to actually landing the character um, but you've got you've got to have a clear. I think you have to have a clear set of intentions as to you know sort of a ballpark of, of when you're working on the script and a scene where where you where you want to end up, um, and then you have to sort of forget about it and see what happens in the moment. So it's a sort of it, there's a science and a, and a, and a non-science to it. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I've i been doing this Gollum voice since, you know, the past 20 years. Could I just quickly do that voice for you and oh, then please. kind of hear what you think of it? Okay. My precious, he wants it, he needs it, must have the precious. Wow. He stole it from us, <laughs> sneaky little hobbit sis. <laughs> Gollum, Gollum. Oh, bravo. <laughs> that was fantastic. Gosh, it's amazing. It's great. That was amazing. It really means so much hearing that from you. I mean, I love voiceover myself, so who knows? Maybe I get to do that with you one day. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> so just like some final questions. Um, what was it like for you to work with Matt Reeves? Yeah, I love, I, I mean, I love working with Matt because he is, you know, he is a director that always goes for, for the, the, the kind of the emotion at the heart of the story and, uh, you know, and everything is sort of built around that because unless you really carry an audience with you emotionally, you it doesn't matter how spectacular you are. Uh, you know what things look like, what the production designs like, all the cinematography. If if you're not brought carried along by story and character and emotion, then then you're lost. And he understands all of it. I mean, that's the great thing. He's such an inspiration because he he he. he completely has control of all of the aspects of filmmaking to, 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 to get you to a point where you're watching something as magnificent as... I mean, he's, he's such a master, and, and uh, uh, this is a huge labour of love for him, this movie. So, uh, so I, think it, I, I, I think it's a... I do think it's a, a bona fide masterpiece. And one final question, because you're working with such an amazing cast. If you could act with any actor or actress, dead or alive, who would it be? Well, that's really... Uh, that's a really... Difficult one. Um, I, 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 there's a number of people. Can I say more than one? Anyone? Yes, absolutely. Uh, okay. Well, I, I, I've, I'm a huge admirer of Isabelle Huppert. I think she's incredible. I think she's the most amazing actress. Um, I've always been a huge fan of Harvey Keitel's. I think he's extraordinary. Um, Anthony Hopkins is amazing. Um, uh, oh gosh, I mean, 
yeah, I mean, I could go on and on and on, but I won't. <laughs> Such a joy to speak with you. Um, really hope I can meet you one day and even do voiceover for you. So That'd thank you so much. And in person next time. In person. Yeah, definitely. All Have right. a lovely day. You too. You too. Take care.